Arlington has won the Super 8 Massachusetts State Championship. Special honor tonight, Joey Dalton from the Arlington High School, who will be heading off to Berkeley College of Music next year for voice, is going to be singing our national anthem, Please Face the Flag. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, welcome to Pierce Field in Arlington for another classic matchup. This time it's the Bromfield Trojans visiting from the towns of Harvard, Ayer, Shirley, Maynard, and Parker Charter School against the Arlington Spy Ponders. Last game of the season this year for the Spy Ponders, and we are ready to face off. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Ken Colbert, your sports broadcaster from Arlington Community Media, Inc. I am here today uh, uh, with uh, Alex Van... Th oh, there's the face off, and it's taken by Bromfield right away. Number 18, he's in. And Ben, ben Kohlberg, look at that. Fine boy, and here goes Kohlberg the other way. Kohlberg kicks it up the ice. And he's got this, look at him go. And, he's not, and he floats it in. All right, so Kohlberg sends it down to Justin McKenney. McKenney, Arlington boys with some possession early on in the game. There's John Kerr, junior captain, behind the net. Kerr sends it over to Leo Piandas. Leo the lip, Leo the lion. Leo sends it over to number 21, Jonathan Capillion, the human Capillion. And there's number nine on senior night, Brendan McKenney, number nine. And the Arlington boys look to uh, start the game off with a little bit of possession early on in the game. There's Leo Piandas, number 18. He skips a pass. It's deflected over to McKenney. McKenney sends it back over to the human Capillion. And the human Capillion looking to set something up here on the Bromfield boys. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, oh, the Capillion takes a shot. It's a save by number 12, the goaltender, Logan Reed. Logan, uh, Alex, so my color comment, so... A little bit of confusion here today. Arlington Community Media Inc. Our cameraman is Alex Van Thong. He's also doubling today as my color commentator. Alex, just wanted to mention number 12, the uh, Bromfield goalie. He's a freshman. His name is Ian Mill. Uh, excuse me. He's a, f he's a freshman. His name is Logan Reed, and he's only a freshman. Wow. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see how he, uh, how he goes up against... Uh an older team. Exactly, and some sharpshooters. The Arlington boys have won two games in a row, Alex, as you know, and this could be, uh, and those were their first two consecutive wins of the season. There's a pass in front, a little bit of a force play, but Arlington keeps possession. Here's Brendan McKenney, number nine. McKenney playing next year at Felician University in, um, in New York. And so the Arlington boys settle the ball down to start early in the game. It goes behind the net to Piandes. Piandes drops it, but he picks it back up. He's, uh, he's hunted by Henry Fredrickson, a, uh, a, uh, a, de a defender and also a, uh, a captain. Number six is Fredrickson in the, uh, 
in the uh, defense for Bromfield. All right, so there's the Arlington boys forcing it a little bit. I don't know if you see that, Alex, but those are not open lanes in the, uh, in the cutting zone, and as a result, they've gotten lucky, but those could have resulted in two turnovers. Yeah, so far seeing some pretty good defense on uh, Bromfield's end. I would agree with that. It looks like the, uh, the, the Bromfield's got some big defenders out there. They've got number 21, Tommy Dentino. He's the senior captain. And uh, he's back there on defense. As I mentioned, their center crease defender is Henry Fredrickson. Uh, and then the other one is number 20, uh, and that is Dylan Gramberg. It looks like it's gonna be a penalty, Alex. We're gonna have our first man up of the day. It looked like it was a slash. Let's see who's heading to the sin bin. Emily, can you help me? Excuse, uh, excuse it looks me. like uh, number, uh, number seven. Is it Miller? Let's see who's heading to the sin bin. Uh, the person's got to take a knee, so who's it going to be? It's 20. It's going to be number All right. 20. Bromfield penalty, number 20, Dylan Gramberg. Man advantage, Arlington. All right, so Arlington with the man advantage. This is called a what? A man up situation. Let's see what the Bromfield boys can do as they, as they face a, 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 a man down situation. Uh, Capillion sends it over to number 19. That's Adam Lee. He's just a sophomore, Alex, number 19. He's had a good season. To see him in, on man up is nice for Pocock. All right, the Arlington boy. Oh, there's Lee. It looks like, oh, no, that's Piandas. Looks like Leo may have a hole in his stick. Uh, but anyway, he picks it back up. All possession so far, Alex, has been Arlington. We've got uh, down under 10 minutes left in the quarter. Uh, Capillion fakes the shot. He sends it over to McKenney, who shoots it wide, but it's blocked nicely or backed up nicely by uh, number 18. Uh, Leo Piandes. We got Emma Groundhog in the house. There's Capillion. He sends it back over to. Oh, there's a shot. Capillion and John Kerr rips it in from the human Capillion, and we've got our first goal of the game. Right in the top left corner. Arlington goal number two, Jonathan Kerr, assisted by number 21, Jonathan Capillion. And Lucy Pike in the house. All right, so Lucy Pike arrives. She's in the house. And uh, now things are starting us. Uh, really, uh, pat, we've got a packed crowd here. It's another sellout crowd in Arlington today. As uh, it's Mary Pierce Field. They've come to see the Arlington boys. Can they win three in a row their last game of the season? Time will tell. But, Alex, I think the Arlington boys are looking pretty good. The Bromfield team won the first faceoff. And here's another faceoff. Who's going to win it? It is this Colberg. Oh, Colberg overran it. He's a fine young boy. That number six, Ben Colberg. I mean, you like him? You're not speaking? All right, well, he's a project. We've seen him work uh, all season long. The Arlington defense is number six, Ben Kohlberg, number 12, Luke Baraducci, and number 14, the senior, John Cassidy, on senior night. John Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, number 16, is the goaltender, Justin Sensale. They set their sails for Sensale. Oh, there's a broken line to Bromfield, a shot, and a save, Sensale! A very nice shot by Joey Robinson. He is a captain attacker. Robinson took a nice shot, but Sensale... Came away with it. All right, so it goes back to Sensale. It looks like they're putting a body on Colberg. Sensale floats one's up to number 25. Matty the Cat. Matty sends a soft pass into number three, who is, uh, who is number three, Alex? Oh, that's Liam Keneally. He's a freshman. Look at him go. And so, uh, Alex, here's some more Arlington possession. John Kerr takes it behind the net. And so far, it's been all Arlington. All Arlington, but Bromfield is uh, keeping the pressure nice and strong in the defense. They are, and that's, that's kept it as a close game. It's only a one-goal game. There's Leo the Lip Piandes. Oh, there's Carey fills in. John Carey scores from Leo Piandes. And John Kerr. Did Kerr get the first one, too? I forget. I believe he did. Yeah. All right, so Arlington, it's two from 21, and that's two from 18. Timeout, Bromfield. Arlington goal number two. Jonathan Kerr, assisted by number 18, Leo Piandes. All right, I, uh, Alex, I can tell you this. I think it's a good timeout for, uh, <coughs> for Bromfield. They go down two goals. They got to get possession of the ball. And Patrick Fredrickson, the second-year coach for the uh, Trojans, um, <coughs> is wisely looking to settle the boys down. What do you see? Well, what kind of record are we looking at for the Trojans? Good so question. Far this season? Good question. I think they're doing very well in their league, but I think they're around 500. I know they put the hurt on Fitchburg recently. They beat up on Fitchburg 16 to one. 
Wow. But I think they also uh, have got some losses over the course of the season. So I, I don't really know exactly what their record is. Maybe we'll find that out at the half. But I think they're a little unsettled. Although, you know, in the first half, it's just been a possession situation. They haven't gotten possession of the ball. And when, in lacrosse, when you don't have the ball, there's not much you can do with it. Yeah, for, for once, it seems like uh, Arlington is winning some faceoffs. Well, last game that trend started. Number 23 on the faceoffs for Arlington has been Galen Bermudez, the Bermudez Onion, the Bermudez Triangle. He's been fantastic on faceoffs recently, but in the first half of the season, uh, Arlington couldn't get any of the faceoffs, and that was really fundamentally the problem. All right, the Arlington defense, we've got number 22, Kanye Lynch has entered the game. As I mentioned, the goaltender is number 16, Justin Sensale. The defenders, it looks like Kohlberg is out there with a long pull on the faceoff, number six. Galen Bermudez uh, taking the faceoff, and number eight, I always get these guys confused, but for Arlington, number eight is Quinn Connell. He's a senior captain headed to Georgia Tech next year. Uh, so we feted the seniors tonight. It is senior night. The rain seems to be holding off, Alex, which is a good thing. There's Bermudez on the faceoff, and Bermudez comes away with it, but... It looks like some sort of illegal procedure on Bermudez, so the Arlington boys drop back. Uh, the other Arlington defender, we got Cassidy, we got Luke Berriducci, we got Kohlberg, number 23, Galen Bermudez on the midfield, and uh, there's Quinn Connell, number eight, on the midfield as well. So number 22 for the Trojans takes the ball. This is Sam Ratchman. I hope it's Ratchman and not Rackman. I'll find out, but he's a senior, senior midi. Uh, there's Sammy. Sammy, he sends it over to number 16, who is uh, Joey Robinson. Uh, Swiss Family Robinson, they call him. All right, there's a, oh, an errant pass on the Bromfield boys. Maybe it's the long bus ride, Alex. There's a ground ball, and uh, it's kicked by Lukey Berriducci. He kicks it out of bounds, and so it's going to be taken behind the net by the Bromfield Trojans. The Trojans look to swing it around. They got number seven out there, Ian Miller. I understand that Ian is the engine that charges this team. Uh, he's a captain, senior midfielder. It's number 16, Joey Robinson. Uh, he's lost in space, the Robinsons. Robinson sends it back over to Ian Miller. Here's Miller. Miller sends it behind. Oh, Aaron pass from Miller, and it's a turnover for Bromfield. The Bromfield boys look very unsettled, Alex. Maybe it's the long bus ride. Maybe it's late in the season, but they're going to have to really get some possession to get things going. Could also be a lot to do with uh, the weather. We're yeah. not having a, a great day over here in Arlington. No, no, but if the rain has held off. We're here. It's another sellout crowd at Mary Pierce Field in Arlington. Last game of the season for the Arlington Spy Ponders. They've won two in a row, four wins on the season. They love four or five wins on the season. Sensel floats it into the middle, and it's taken by number eight, Quinn Connell, but it looks like the Arlington boys were offsides. Maybe it was... We don't know what's going on. Yeah, offsides on Arlington. Arlington defense, number 22, Kanye Lynch. Number 6, Ben Kohlberg. Number 12, uh, Luki Berriducci. There's Cassidy. He goes out there. And uh, number 14. So they got four long poles out there. It looks like an uh, interesting situation. Pocock wants this win. Let's take a look at their, uh, their record on the season. All right, the Bromfield boys look to settle it down. There's Quinn Connell playing good defense on number 16, Joey Robinson, Swiss family Robinson, lost in space, the Robinsons. Robinson sends it back up top to number two. That's number two, Max Larson. And Larson took a very nice looking shot, a savvy shot, it was a bounce shot. But Maxi, the taxi, it dropped over the, uh, it dropped over the, um, over the net. Kohlberg puts it into Sensale's hands. Here's Justin Sensale. He's been sensational all season long. He was banged up with a concussion. He's looking for Kohlberg, and he finds Kohlberg. Kohlberg catches it. Look at him go, Emma. But Kohlberg floats it over to, tries to float it over. Oh, he passes it for some reason to the kid on the other team, and Joey Robinson's looking to make him pay, but Kohlberg gets back to help uh, on young Joey Robinson. So Joey Robinson sends it up top to number seven, Ian Miller. Not to be confused with Arlington's Ian Miller, who transferred this year from Plymouth State to UMass. Not a lax player, a great guitar player. All right, so there's a pass. It's broken up. There's a ground ball. Who's going to come up with it? It's number three, uh, the freshman, Liam Keneally, and a ground ball. And look at Keneally go. The kid's got wheels. Let's see if Arlington gets it. Oh, he sends it across. There's number 17. 17 into John Kerr. Kerr is stone, but a rebound. Save. Oh, what a save. Two big saves. Logan Reed.
Bromfield saves two in a row. Number two, uh, excuse me, number 12, Logan Reed. So Logan Reed with two beautiful saves as he robbed John Kerr and then he robbed Justin McKenney, the magician. McKenney on the hunt. The uh, Bromfield boys look to clear it, but they, oh, look at this kid go. Number 18, Aiden Young, a midfielder, and Aiden took it in. He had an open man, but it looked like he opted to, uh, to carry it, and he sends it back up top to Max Larson. Here's Larson. Ladies and gentlemen, interesting fact about the, uh, the Bromfield team, their field has been covered with poison ivy all season long, and they have not had one home game all season long. A fun fact that we hear about and look at this, there's Luki Ball, Luki Berarducci, he's playing football, look at him. He bumped right into that kid, he ends to play, he elects to play it back to Sensale. Sensale makes a nice pass in the middle of the human Capillion, Jonathan Capillion, and the Arlington boys, Alex, as we come down under for three and a half minutes, have got another chance to get a goal here. Important a possession right here, because uh, they've only got the two goal lead. It'd be nice to get one more going into the quarter. That it would. Now that, that freshman goalie has been doing a great job. Yeah, number 12, Holding Logan some, Reed. Uh, yeah. Some pretty fierce attacks. That's Logan Reed. Yes, he has. It's been a good first quarter. Uh, the Bromfield boys are certainly have not mailed it in. And there's Jonathan Capillion. He's hounded by number 20, Dylan Gramberg. And, uh, but here comes Care. Care sends it. Oh, Care forced that one a little bit. The Lincoln boys, I'm seeing a little bit of forcing. They've got to be a little bit more patient. And their cuts have got to be a little bit cleaner. But that's something they can work on in the offseason. The Arlington boys uh, will be training in the offseason. All right, there's Leo Piandes, Leo the Lip, Leo the Lion, Leo de Rocha. Sends it back behind the net to Capillion, the human Capillion. There's a nice pick by John Kerr. Capillion sends it back to Kerr. Kerr behind the net in the exposition. The Arlington boys. Kerr makes a nice pass in front, but a save. Oh, he found, he found Leo, who caught it nicely with the left hand. But there's another big save by Logan Reed. Missed the catch on, uh, on that one. Yeah, Brom turnover. Bromfield tries to clear but cannot. All right, so here we are with Alex. We're down to two minutes left. A gorgeous slide. I think it's a nice lacrosse afternoon. It's not raining. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, McKenney sends it back to Brendan McKenney. Brendan with a shot, and he scores! Brendan McKenney, number nine. And it looks like it was assisted by Justin McKenney, his brother. Arlington goal number nine, Brendan McKenney. Assisted by number 17, Justin McKenney. So the Arlington boys, with uh, less than two minutes left, just a second less than two minutes left in the first quarter, Alex, they have opened up a three-goal lead. And uh, things look a little bit uh, brim for the Bromfield squad. Not a bad lead, but uh, not, not anything that uh, Bromfield can't come back from. Kohlberg almost got to go. Oh, what a fake! That's a beautiful play by number 18, and he pops it to Bert. This kid, number 18, is the real deal. i got to get his name. There's Kohlberg. Emily, look at your brother. Now I know our, uh, our good friend Jim Foster would love to see him go downtown with that. Oh, I know. So would I. Anyway, number 18, Aiden Young, has shown a lot of wheels for that Bromfield squad. He's a very, very impressive young player. Arlington boys look to gain some more possession here. There's a minute and a half left. If they can get another goal going into this quarter, that would be a nice thing. John Kerr behind the net. Kerr finds Justin McKenney. Boys got to clear out in the middle there. Let's see some cuts, boys. Uh, Brendan McKenney sends it back to Leo, Leo uh, Piendez. Piendez sends it behind the net to Jonathan Capillion. He's the human Capillion. His brother Matthew Capillion is an assistant coach. There's John Kerr. Kerr sends it up top to Brendan McKenney. McKenney's got a tally today. Sends it over to his brother, uh, Brendan McKenney. McKenney over to Leo Piendez. We're down now under a minute left in the first quarter. Brendan over to Justin. Justy the magician, the older brother of Ryan McKenney. Proud grandson of Charlie Bryant and uh, the proud son of the parents, Heather Bryant and uh, Brian McKay. All right, so uh, the Bromfield boys look to try to clear it out, maybe try to get a goal to end the half. And there's a nice clear as it goes to number 21, Tommy Dentino. Dentino is senior captain. Dentino gets crushed. Here's John Kerr. And Kerr patiently settles it down. John Kerr is the cerebral lacrosse player. 
He's got the brain. He's a brainiac. Of course, his older sister, Ellen Kerr, has been named a, uh, a Fulbright Scholar this year. She just graduated from Villanova University, uh, along with the famous Emily Kohlberg. And uh, was it Rogers? Who's the other one? Is there another one? Who else graduated? Come on, Groundhogger. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, Groundhog in the house. All right, so here we go. We're down about 51 seconds left. No, excuse me, five seconds left. There's a Gilman, and the ball goes long, and it is going to be the end of the first quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, your first quarter score, it is the Arlington Spy Ponders, three, and the guests, uh, Bromfield Trojans, zero. Ladies and gentlemen, please visit our snack bar today as we are loaded with goodies. We have free, fresh sushi, courtesy of our athletic director, Stan Vieira. He rolls the California rolls himself. The proud parent, Heather Bryant, has made beef wellington in the snack bar. Please visit the snack bar. There's also traditional uh, fair snacks, uh, candy, chips, and sodas at the snack bar. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to welcome today the Arlington Youth Lacrosse Program as our mascots today. Thank you, mascots, for ushering the boys in. They're waving in the stands. Let's have a big hand for the Arlington Youth Lacrosse Program. All right, so we're going to start second half uh, action in a moment, Alex. Well, I guess all I could really say is that if you're Bromfield and you're their coach, what are you telling them at that break? Well, I mean, they're not doing uh, too bad. They, their defense is really strong, provided that, you know, they have a younger student in, uh, in the net. Yep. But they're just not pressuring enough. They need, to, they need to get the ball more, and they need to pressure more. Yep. Yep, I would agree, and I think he's probably telling them, look, they got to get the next goal. The next goal is a key goal, so it's all going to come down to possession here. The uh, faceoff is uh, a nice matchup here. It's going to be, oh, there's number 15, Tom DiCarlo. DiCarlo taking his first face of the day. He's got, uh, he's got number three, the freshman Liam Keneally out there with him. And then on the far side is number 16 with a long pole. That's Ben Kohlberg. He's a project. The Arlington defense is number 25, Matthew Malone, Matty the Cat. At center, uh, crease defense is number 22, Kanye Lynch. And number 12 is Luki Berarducci. All right, here's a faceoff. Let's see him come up with it. This is a key possession here, Alex. First faceoff in the second quarter. Arlington with a slim three-goal lead, and it's going to be DiCarlo uh, up against. Uh, the ball's there for the taking. Who's coming up with it? It's going to be Kohlberg. And let's see what he's got. He picks it up. Nice ground ball for Colberg. And he sends it behind the net to Justin McKinney. He goes quickly behind the net to John Kerr. Kerr sends it over to Leo Piandes. And Colberg's been a human vacuum cleaner today. He's a fine boy. Fine young boy. All right. Ball up top to Justin McKinney. Excuse me. That's Brendan McKinney, the senior. He sends it over to Leo Piandes. I think Leo's a junior or a sophomore. I'm not really sure. In tight is uh, Capillion. Capillion sends it behind the net to Kerr. Care up to jo uh, Justin McKenney, Justy the magician. He sends it over to his brother Brendan. Brendan and the Arlington boys swing it around. Nice possession, nice around the horn for Arlington. It's uh, it's some good lacrosse today. Arlington boys patient. There's a rush. See, that's what happens, Alex. When you rush that ball across, uh, think you know the bad things happen, and uh, that's what we saw there. Yep. I think Bromfield might be doing a little bit of that as well. They seem to be forcing a few passes and uh, have lost some possessions because of it. He's in tight. And a save, Justin Sensale. Arlington save, number 16, Justin Sensale. So Sensale makes a sensational save, and there's a pass to Capillion. He forgot something there. And uh, Arlington 
Here we go. So it looks like it's going to be timeout. Is that Arlington timeout? Timeout, Arlington. So it's a timeout for Arlington. We are uh, at 10 minutes, 19 seconds in the second quarter. 10 minutes, 19 seconds left in the half. Uh, I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster for Arlington Community Media, Inc., your local cable sports network. Our cameraman today from ACMI is Alex Van Thong. Alex is also our producer today. He's also my color commentator. He's also the key grip. He's also in charge of set design today. And uh, Alex has had many roles today. He's uh, uh, also our, uh, our, our first assistant uh, production uh, supervisor. And um, so we... Uh, are here for another wonderful broadcast. It's our last broadcast of the year. On behalf of Stan Vieira and the Arlington High School, we do thank Arlington Community Media Inc. for supporting the Arlington High School sports programs. Not just uh, lacrosse, but they do hockey, they do soccer, they do all the sports when they can get there. And uh, we're very fortunate in Arlington to have an institution like Arlington Community Media Inc. to uh, provide our local, not only cable sports, but our local cable news. So Alex, I do want to thank you for being here today and for all season long. Happy to help. That's what we're here for. Yeah, of course, we've, uh, have, we've also seen some of the ACMI luminaries this year. Uh, Kevin Wetmore, K-Wet. All right, here we go. It's Bromfield possession. Number seven is uh, Ian Miller. Killer Diller Miller, they call him. Miller sends it behind the net. And, the, uh, the, uh, and that looks like Sam Hills. Sammy Hills. And Hills is broken up. Kohlberg on the hunt. And there's another grounder for Kohlberg. Let's see if he takes it in. Let's see what he does with it, Emma. In, Masha. In. Oh, no, he floats it away and heads it back. He's, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't like to take it in for some reason. Maybe that's a, his specific instructions. But a nice ground ball for Colbert. Kerr makes a pass to himself. And uh, luckily, he, the Arlington boys take possession. I don't know what Kerr was doing there. Um, but anyway, John Kerr has got a couple of goals today already. And here comes the rain. And uh, we spoke too soon. There's Brendan McKenney. And the, the foul weather is rolling in. And the fans are unhappy. Uh, but they're staying here in droves. It's another sellout crowd today at Mary Pierce Field in Arlington. The Spy Ponders up three goals to nothing. There's number 19, young Adam Lee. He's only a, uh, he's only a sophomore. He sends it behind the net to Justy McKenney. Here goes Justy. Justy tries to take it around, but he's met by number seven, Ian Miller. And uh, the Arlington boys are trying to be patient here. I think they need a little more cutting off the ball. Their turnovers have been forced passes in the middle so far. And, uh, but they're doing a nice job going around the, the horn. There's Adam Lee. Arlington, uh, the sidelines now look like they're a little bit drenched. Uh, and here comes Piendes behind the net. There's Leo Piendes. Leo goes to the left. And what does he see? He sees uh, another force play in the middle, but it's picked up by Kerr. Kerr sends it over to Brandon McKenney. McKenney finds, oh, Brandon McKenney finds his brother Justy with a scoop shot. And the brother, look, it's brotherly love as number 17, Brendan McKenney from number, I mean, number 17, Justin McKenney from number nine, Brendan McKenney. And the Arlington boys go up 5 nothing. Alex, that one's got to hurt if you're Bromfield. Yeah, especially with the rain coming down. Yeah. Being uh, behind right now is not, not the best place to be. Arlington goal number 17, Justin McKenney, assisted by number nine, Brendan McKenney and Ryan McKenney. And Brian McKenney. All right, so Arlington now, Alex, with a four-goal lead, very comfortable lead for the Arlington boys. And uh, here's some possession for Bromfield. But, uh, but the Bromfield boys find themselves on the road, in the rain, cold day. Uh, and, uh, and really up against it right now as the Arlington boys are not letting up. There's number 23, Galen Bermudez, as he tries to hack number 16. 
Uh, this Kohlberg on the hunt. What's Kohlberg doing? He kicks it. He's fighting for it, and he's buried. <laughs> Kohlberg gets pummeled. Oh, look at this. Oh, here's a fast break. A nice pass by. Oh, what a save. What a save by number 12. Kick save, Logan Reed. That goalie. He's uh, holding off. Bromfield save number 12, Logan Reed. As Reed kick save, you look like Rogie Vachon there, Emma. You don't know Rogie Vachon, the old Bruins goalie? He used to kick it out. He also played for the Kings. All right, so Arlington, what a great fast break. That was brought up nicely by, uh, by Galen Bermudez. He played it over to John Carey, found Justy, Justin um, McKenney, but McKenney got robbed. Yeah, I mean, he was just, that was highway robbery by number 12, Logan Reed. And that's a uh, pretty intimidating play to, to stop. <laughs> exactly. Well, he flat, oh, there's, a, there's McKenney. Oh, Justy with the right hand, and he fired it wildly. Fortunately, Leo, the lip was back there to back it up. Eric Smith in the house from the Arlington Youth Lacrosse League. Let's have a big hand for Eric Smith. All right, Eric Smith in the house from the Arlington Youth Lacrosse League. And uh, he's had some mascots out there today. Uh, all right, so uh, the Arlington boys. This is Maddie the Cat, number 25. Maddie won a jack. Oh, Maddie takes a scoop pass over to Leo Piandes. Piandes over to uh, Brendan McKenney. McKenney is, oh, what a great defensive play by number 14, Dallas Adams, the long stick midi. Oh, Dallas, but Dallas, oh, Dallas gets buried. And there's a hit from behind by number nine, Brendan McKenney. And Dallas got hit, but Dallas got up. And Dallas, uh, Dallas Adams, the long stick midi, got nailed from behind by Brendan McKenney. And McKenney's going to spend a little bit of time in the sin bin. Arlington penalty number nine, Brendan McKenney. All right, so McKenney goes to the sin bin. We're joined up here now by Eric Smith, the... Uh, Director of the Arlington Youth Lacrosse Program. Eric, how are you this afternoon? I'm doing okay. How are you doing, Ken? We're doing well. We're up four nothing. We got a chance for our third win of the se our, th our third consecutive win, That's exciting. and maybe fifth of the season. Uh, thank you for coming up and saying hello, Eric. You're very welcome. The Arlington Spy Ponders have four wins on the season. They're looking for their fifth win today, and now they find themselves man down with six minutes and thirty seconds left in the uh, in the first half of this ball game. And uh, we have had a, a nice tilt. I'm here, my color commentator today, Alex Van Thon from, Alex, uh, from Arlington Community Media Inc. They call him Alex from Strohs. I don't know if you remember Alex from Strohs, but um, anyway, um, here we go. Bromfield has got to get on the board, Alex, to get back in this game. They still have time. They have time. To get there. Yeah. As you've said in the past, four, four goals is not a, uh, not a big lead. No, nope, it can evaporate. Oh, blocked by Kohlberg with the pole. And it's going to be, uh, let's see if uh, the possession is going to be retained for, uh, for Bromfield. All right, so the ball is, trickles out towards the midfield, but it's kept in beautifully by number seven for Bromfield. That's Ian Miller, Killer Miller Diller. Ryan McKenney in the house. What do you got? Hey, how about get me a slab of pizza, young man? Coffee? Oh, it's a big save for Sinsale. Arlington save, number 16, Justin Sinsale. I don't want coffee, I want a piece of pizza. Oh, you want me to announce that? Oh, what a play by number three, the freshman Liam Keneally. Keneally sends it over. Oh, it's broken up beautifully by Bromfield. And that is number, number 20. 20. Oh, there's a possession. There's Maddie the Cat. The Cat sends it into Justin McKenney. McKenney has got one man to beat. It's number 21, Tommy Dentino. McKenney thinks otherwise, though. And here comes a pick by uh, Leo Piandes. It goes back over to John Kerr. Kerr over to uh, number 19 is Adam Lee. And Lee is hounded by number 14, Dallas Adams. I like Dallas. Dallas is aggressive. Dallas Adams. So there's John Kerr. The Bromfield boys, Alex, they're following your lead. They are a little bit more aggressive here in the second half as we're under five minutes left. Under five minutes left, excuse me, in the first half. And there's John Kerr looking to settle it down. The rain is coming down. And uh, we were visited a moment ago by uh, young Ryan McKenney, who announced that the coffee is ready in the, um, at the snack bar. 
All right, here's Jonathan Capillion, the human Capillion. He takes it behind the net. He's one of DeValpine's disciples. And Capillion with a shot, and he scores with the left hand. John Capillion unassisted. The human Capillion. And Capillion now with a goal and an assist. That's 21 unassisted. Arlington goal number 21, Jonathan Capillion. Unassisted. Ladies and gentlemen, coffee is ready at the snack bar. Anyone wanting to visit the snack bar? There's hot chocolate, there's coffee, and various and sundry other uh, delightful items. All right, this face-off is taken by number eight this time. It's Quinn Con Oh, no, Connolly, they think otherwise. Pocock, Alex, with a comfortable five-goal lead now. We're under five minutes left in the first half, and he must be thinking he could get three wins in a row and finish the season with five. Yeah. Respectable. Maybe change some things up in the, in the face-off and train some, uh, some younger students. Exactly. They'll need a little bit of uh, face-off training in the off-season. That was the big problem in the first half of the season. Sure was. Uh, that's the, old, the issue. What, I, you know, what I've learned recently in the last couple of years is lacrosse really is all about possession. You don't have possession of that ball. You don't have possession yeah, you can't do anything. So Kohlberg on number 18, uh, and that is uh, Aiden Young. And ball rolls to the midfield, it's a freebie. Oh, what a, Young is in a sea of white. And, oh. And there's a roll, oh, nice roll dodge by number eight uh, for Arlington, Quinn Connell. And what's going on? Oh, it looks like it's going to be an infraction on Arlington, so it's going to be blue ball on the clear. And number 21, Tommy Dentino, he sends it back. at a boy. Oh, you're a fine boy. Fine young boy. Ryan, uh, Ryan um, McKenney is the pizza delivery boy as he comes up with a little bit of snack for uh, your, your, uh, your, your host here, your commentator. Hey, Ryan, I don't need chips. Anybody want chips? I'm not a chips guy. Bag of chips? Give those to somebody. We'll take them. Thanks, buddy. All right. So here we go, uh, the Bromfield boys with some possession. They're down five goals. Alex, a sense of urgency here if I'm Bromfield. What do you think? Uh, I mean, they've, again, they've been doing a great job with defense, but they are uh, not pressuring enough. No, their offense has been anemic. But this might be it. They're, they're, they're giving it a try right now. So here they go. see where they take it. Yeah. There's no great defense. Arlington's playing good defense too, though, Alex. They are. Yeah. Well, with Sincel. You know. Yeah. See, we, we keep seeing a lot of uh, misconnected uh, passes. Yep. They're not, they're not following through with those passes, and that's where they're losing a lot of, a lot of momentum. Yep. All right, so here's a clear situation for Arlington. Justin Sincere, he's got Maddie the Cat in the midfield. Sincere whips it to the Cat, but the Cat can't bring it in. And uh, Justin McKenney tries to keep it in, but he can't keep it in. And so it's going to result in a Bromfield ball. Uh, Oh, it's a nice pass. Great pass. Great pass up the field by number six, Henry Fredrickson. And so Bromfield is going to look. We're down two and a half minutes left in the half. We'll be doing the halfway show in just a moment. Outstanding pizza. Not sure who this is from, Alex. You know who they got the pizza from? I don't. You know? Andrinas. Andrinas is very. Is it Andrinas? Oh, a little plug for Andrinas. I actually like Andrinas a lot. It's one of Ben's favorites. The slice. Lacrosse discount for uh, Eric Smith, the director of the Arlington Youth Lacrosse Program. Eric, you've done a fine job since you took it over a couple of years ago from the illustrious David Gordon. And here's a break. Shot. Save and fail again as a rick wicked shot from Sammy Hills, the attacker. Save, save number 16, Justin Sensale. Great pressure from Bromfield, number 16. Yep. Almost picked it off. Yep, Sensale chokes. And it's going to be uh, Bromfield ball. Minute and a half left. So Andrina's dedicated, uh, donating some pizzas today to the Arlington Youth Program on senior night. Andrina's is also a CMI's favorite. Oh, there's a break. Place. Oh, he got nailed by Baraducci. Baraducci put the hurt on number 11. Sam Hills, the attacker. Luke Baraducci, number 12, and he's called for a penalty. I didn't see it. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it looked like a clean hit to me. It looked pretty clean. Yeah, up here in the booth, they're saying it looked clean. 
but Luki Berarducci is going to go to the Sinbin. Arlington penalty number 12, Luki Berarducci. All right, so Berarducci heads to the Sinbin, and he'll spend the rest of the period there, one minute and 24 seconds left. Let's see if the Bromfield boys could get on the board. Um, this will be the opportunity with uh, man down. This is the opportunity there. It's number six. Uh, let's see, the defense, the, uh, the man down team is number 25, Matt Malone. They call him Matty the Cat. Number 14, John Cassidy. John Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Number three, Liam Keneally. Number 22, Kanye Lynch. And then number six, the project, Ben Kohlberg. Kanye Lynch. That's his real name. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to open the window here. Unfortunately, it's going to get a little bit cold, but for vision, we got to open it up, Alex. You all right? My window's open. All right, here we go. The halftime show will be starting in just one moment. And will be spinning the tunes. I spin the tunes, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. So it's a minute and 24 seconds left. Uh, Bromfield on the man up, and they, Coach Pocock changes it up a little bit. He takes out Cassidy, and he puts in number 21, Jonathan Capillion, the human Capillion. He's got number 25, Maddie the Cat uh, Malone, the uh, son of the lovely Joy Malone and uh, Michael Malone from Newton North High School, baseball player. All right, Kanye gets come. Looks like Kanye's, no, Kanye's up there. He's got the hooded sweatshirt. And, oh, it's going to be a clear situation for Arlington. So if Arlington can clear it here, Alex, I'll tell you right now, if they can clear it, keep possession for the half, and go into the half with a 5 nothing lead, they're going to be looking good for that third winner in a row. I'd say so. All right, here's the human capillion. And there's a flag down. I don't know why. But there's a flag down. And so Arlington, with a minute left, could really put a dagger in here with another goal. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming down to the end of the first half at Mary Pierce Field in Arlington. Oh, there's a pass. Oh, what a save. A big save. Broadfield save, number 12, Logan Reed. Did they score? And it's a flag down. It looks like it's going to be a penalty on the Bromfield uh, Trojans. The uh, Let's see who's heading to the sin bin for the Trojans. It looks like it's number five. There's a timeout. Timeout, Bromfield. All right, I don't know, actually, you know what, I don't know who that timeout was, because it might have been Pocock taking the timeout to put the dagger in. Anybody know? No? Uh. Emily, can you text mom back and tell her you're up here with me? And tell me it doesn't... All right, the Bromfield boys do a big cheer as they, huh? I'm not. I, All right, so 46 seconds left, Alex, and uh, it is a, uh, there's electricity in the air right now. The tension, you can feel it. We're in another sold, sellout crowd here at Pierce Field in Arlington. The fans are on their feet as the Arlington boys with a five-goal lead uh, heading into the, um, into the halftime. There is standing room only. Uh, however, uh, we have got a, uh, a comfortable margin for the Arlington Spy Ponders. All right, the ball is going to be taken in the man-up situation by number nine, the senior captain, Brendan McKenney. He's got his younger brother, Justin McKenney, the magician, with him. McKenney is one of Jack DeValpine's disciples. So is the human Capillion. So is Jonathan Kerr. Oh, there's a pass, beautiful pass by Kerr, and he finds Justin McKenney. And that could be a big problem for Bromfield as Justy McKenney's got two. And John Kerr, uh, a, a DeValpine disciple, is, uh, is really dishing out the helpers again today. Kerr has been uh, absolutely outstanding all season long. Arlington goal number 17, Justin McKenney, assisted by number two, 
Jonathan Care. So Jonathan Care, they call him not a care in the world as he feeds his teammates all season long. He's setting assist records for the Arlington Spy Ponders as he just dishes out the helpers. 37 seconds left. It's a very important faceoff here for the Bromfield squad. Number 14 is uh, Dallas Adams. The faceoff is won by number 18, Aiden Young, a midfielder. Aiden sends it over to... Oh, there's a nice pass across. Oh, it just bad luck there as it rolled out on Joey Robinson. So it's going to be Arlington ball. It's going to be taken by number 25, Matty the Cat. Uh, the Bromfield fields fans seem to be trickling in now for the second half. There's a couple of empty seats. So they're going to have to find their seats for the second half. And here comes a clear situation. It's taken by number 23. Oh, and a hit from behind. A hit from the, oh, great. For, what a ground ball. Who's that kid? That's Nick Lewis, a midfielder, Nicky Lewis. Where's he been all game long? Matty the Cat gets away with a hit. And here comes number 21, John, K and there's the end of the first half. And ladies and gentlemen, from Mary Pierce Field in Arlington, I'm Ken Colberg, your sports broadcaster. We are at the end of the first half. Your score, Arlington 6, and the Bromfield Trojan 0. My name is Max Luca, and if you're interested in pursuing a career in sports media, come on down to Studio B at 892 Mass Ave in Arlington. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for second half action. Declan Dolan in the house, and it is second half action. There's Ben Kohlberg, number six, covering number 16, Joey Robinson, the senior uh, attacker. Robinson evades Kohlberg, and he sends it over to number, uh, the Bromfield boys play it actually behind the net, and uh, the Bromfield boys, Alex, they need to strike early and they need to strike fast to get back in this game. They find themselves down 6 nothing early in the second half. The Arlington boys looking for their third consecutive victory. Ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned the Arlington stellar athlete Declan Dolan in the house, multi-sport athlete. He's a tennis player. He's also a soccer captain, and he's also a hockey player. He's a hockey puck for a brain, but he's in the house. He's a uh, proud young, uh, older brother of the famous Sophia Dolan, and of course, when soccer season starts, we'll be talking about the... Uh, the, oh, there's a ground ball for Colberg, and there goes Colberg. And Colberg, he does a dipsy doodle and a pirouette, and he runs it up the field, and he dumps it over to Leo Piendez. Piendez, Leo the lip, he sends it behind the net to John Kerr, and the Arlington boys look to settle it down, and they will. Alex, for the Arlington boys to cement this victory, they got to keep possession and maybe use the clock wisely. What do you think? Yeah, I'd say so, but uh, they're also doing some good job just uh, attacking. Uh, not too, not too much pressure, but uh, enough to just keep uh, the Bromfield boys back a little bit more. So I'd say just keep doing what you're doing. They'll get it. All right. Well, here we are. We're in the third quarter, second half action. We're joined in the booth, as I mentioned, by Declan Dolan. Uh, he's a Dolan Eagle, and we'll be talking a little bit about the Dolan Eagles when the fall rolls around. Uh, I'm Ken Kolberg, your sports broadcaster from Arlington Community Media Inc. And we are here on a not-so-lovely afternoon at Mary Pierce Field. Another sellout crowd for the Arlington Spy Ponders versus Boys Varsity Lacrosse team. They have packed the house all season long. And today is no exception on the final game of the season. Maybe that's why we got Dolan here. I know David and Sarah Dolan are maybe still out of the country. Declan, are they still out of the country? Yep. So they're in Italy, is that what I hear? Yeah. All right, so the Dolans are still in Italy. Uh, we'll be talking a lot about them uh, in, the, uh, in the fall. But uh, Declan and Sophia are still here in the house. Sophia had a good year. Goes a nice cut and a shot. Beautiful shot by Brandon McKinney behind the net. And number 18, Leo, Mc Leo Piendez with the assist. But that's uh, Justin McKinney, excuse me. And Justin's got the hat trick with the shot behind the net. I mean, behind the back. And uh, that's why they call him the magician. Justin the magician. Uh, and a beautiful goal by number 17, Justin McKenney. I like to go number 17, Justin McKenney, assisted by number 18, Leo Piendez. All right, so the Arlington boys now are really, Alex, they're putting the hurt on these Bromfield boys. Bromfield uh, has had a tough season. Their field got taken over by Poison Ivy, and they haven't had any home games all season long, and that's a true story. So where uh, do they play? They play on the road. All their games are on the road. Uh, Bromfield is, uh, it's called the Bromfield School. It's in Harvard, Mass., and it uh, comprises not only a Harvard, Mass., but also Ayer and Shirley and Maynard and the Parker Charter School. All right, here's number 18, Aiden Young. Aiden has uh, 
had a good game. Um, but the Bromfield boys have yet to score. Here's number seven, Ian Miller, Killer Miller Diller. Here comes Miller. He's got number three, Quinn, uh, number three, uh, number three, pa uh, good defense there by Liam Keneally. Liam is a freshman. There's John Cassidy, number 14 on senior night. Cassidy uh, playing good defense. Look at John Cassidy. Cassidy will be heading to Johnson Wales in the fall for culinary arts. There's a shot. He shot it wide, and it is going to be kept in by number 11, Sam Hills. Dolan, let's talk a little bit more about Declan Dolan. Dolan was an outstanding lacrosse player, but ended up uh, choosing tennis instead of lacrosse. But I remember last year, or maybe a couple years ago, he was on the JV team. And uh, Dolan, he, he ran like a gazelle up and down the field with the ball. He was a clear situation. There's a shot, and he shot it wide. And Kohlberg and Sensale were there to back it up and to keep possession. Declan, that's right. You were a lacrosse player for a while, right? Yeah. Declan had a great season at lacrosse. And of course, Emma Ground, talk Emily Kohlberg here in the booth. She was a lacrosse player for BBNN, Go Knights, senior captain her senior year, and her younger sister, Anna Kohlberg, was a lacrosse player here at uh, Arlington High School as well. So we've got a lot of lacrosse talent here in the booth. Alex Van Thong, uh, he uh, uh, knows a little bit about lacrosse as he's uh, picked it up here in his uh, tenure in the booth at the uh, Arlington Community Media, Inc. All right, Leo finds care, care. Finds Justy. Justy forces it in front. Oh, Piandas tried to jam it in, but he couldn't. Where's the slide for Bromfield? Piandas with a wild shot. And it is going to be Bromfield ball. Care hustled. He almost tried to keep it in, but he was unable to. And, uh, oh, sorry about that. Groundhog in the house. All right, so here we go. It's going to be a ride situation for Arlington. Alex, eight minutes left in the third quarter. Arlington with a comfortable seven-goal lead. Oh, yeah. And we, we might be seeing uh, nonstop clocks if they keep going. That would be fine. Oh, look at this. Number 11 ran right. He's playing football. That was like Cully Curran. That's Sam Hills. Hills is a C, as an attackman. And... Uh, Nice visit today from Eric Smith. Eric's done a wonderful job with the youth program. As Arlington, as uh, this Kohlberg playing some nice defense there. I mean, you could take a page out of his book. Kohlberg oh, yeah. hounding, hounding number 16, Joey Robinson. And it looks like they're in a, they're in a duel. And Robinson does not want to be denied. And Kohlberg does not want to be beat. Kanye with a nice switch. And it's taken by number 11. Oh, and another save by Justin Sinsale. Sinsale made that one look easy, Alex. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not seeing enough passing, I, I think, from Bromfield. Yeah, I agree with that. They're holding on to the ball. Holding on a little bit and not taking the time to set up the play. Yeah, here's Justin McKenney. McKenney floats it up top to his brother, Brendan McKenney. Brendan looks to settle it down as Pocock may be looking to use the clock here. It'd be nice to finish the season, Alex. Alexi with three uh, with three wins. Well, nobody slides, but they get away with it with three wins in a row. There's Johnny Care, Jonathan Care. He finds Brendan McKenney. McKenney with a shot. Oh, it looks like it hit the post. Capillion with a shot. Nice save. A big save. Bromfield save number 12. Logan Reed. Logan Reed outstanding in net, Alex. You pointed that out. Oh, a nice pick by the human Capillion. I'd say Reed is uh, working up towards uh, player of the game. Oh. <laughs> well, I think that's uh, yeah. I think that that's that's certainly uh, he's the front runner right now. Logan Reed is the player of the game for Bromfield so far. Justin McKenney is uh, he was player of the game last game, but that back that goal behind the shoulder was really something. I think he's uh, he's our front runner today. And uh, another great save. Another great save. So Arlington is all over these kids. Oh, there's a ground ball for Adam Lee, and Vin Lee must be very proud. I don't know what to call there. Maybe a, a ward off. And uh, all right. So here we go. Good try by Leo. There's a goal! Number 10 from number two. A beautiful goal for Bromfield, and the Bromfield boys are on the board. 
And that is a goal. Bromfield goal number 10, Greg Canning. Assisted by number two, Max Larson. So Max Larson, Alan, uh, no, I thought he was a, I don't know if he's a freshman. No, maybe not a freshman. So it's a goal for number two. Ten. I mean number ten, but Max Larson made a beautiful pass on the assist. The goal was uh, Greg Canning, an attacker. And uh, we hear a little bit of chirping from the Bromfield fans. I don't know about that. They might have learned that from Dolan. Declan Dolan, a great chirper. All right, so here we go. Seven goal. Oh, nice ground ball there by number 23, Galen Bermudez, the Bermudez onion. The Bermudez triangle. Uh, and it's going to be, oh, there's a ground ball in the taking. Oh, it's a nice hit by Br Justin McKenney. And yeah, Justin. Justin McKenney, outstanding, aggressive uh, play there to win possession of the ball. And number 21, uh, Tommy Dentino's got his work cut out for him to cover the magician. All right, we're down under five minutes, Alexi. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ken Kohlberg, your sports broadcaster from Arlington Community Media, Inc. Our, my color commentator today is Alex Van Thong, from also from Arlington Community Media, Inc. They call him Alex from Strolls, Alexi. All right, here comes Adam Lee. Sends it over to Brendan McKenney. Brendan McKenney scores from Adam Lee. And Adam Lee with his first assist of the game. So it's going to be Brendan McKenney from number, uh, let's see, it was Adam Lee. So Adam Lee is uh, number 19. Arlington goal number nine, Brendan McKenney, assisted by number 19, Adam Lee. All right, so Adam Lee with an assist, and Brendan McKenney, not to be, uh, maybe not to be outdone by his younger brother, Justin McKenney. Brendan's got two goals today, and he's also got an assist. Uh, the magician, Justin's got three goals and an assist, and Arlington with an eight-goal lead, and there's Tommy DiCarlo. And DiCarlo with a nice ground ball, and he takes it up. He's hunted down by number five. Joey Gauntlet, and Gauntlet wanted to lower the gauntlet on, on, uh, on DiCarlo. Four minutes left. The Arlington boys holding on to a comfortable 8-1 lead, and they have finished this season very, very strong. Uh, and so here we are, four minutes left in the quarter, and uh, Alex, it looks like Pocock is looking pretty on this one, huh? Yeah, looking like they'll take the win today. Yeah. On a rainy season, you know. Rainy scene. It started off not too bad. There's a wild play by Piantis, but Kerr was there. And nice save by number 12. Bromfield save number 12, Logan Reed. Logan Reed has just had the magic stick today. Here's Bromfield. He's got eyes on everything. He's got his eyes on everything. And uh, he's got this one locked up. All right, number 15, the Dipsy Doodle. He's in a sea of white. And Nick Lewis, a midfielder, is in a, ran into a sea of white. But he warded, and he warded off as the Arlington boys, the Arlington boys are just uh, all over these kids. All right, so Piandez sends it up to the human capillary. Pocock could use his bench a little bit here, Alex. Maybe we could see some fresh faces in this last quarter. It's a good time for it. Uh -huh. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Arlington sends it over to... It was a wow a shot by uh, Piandez taken easily by, uh, you're going to need a lot more to beat Logan Reed. Save Logan Reed. Logan Reed has got like 10 saves or 12 saves. He has been the story for Bromfield. Whereas uh, the, uh, there's Maddie the Cat on defense. Maddie the Kitten is a ward off. Oh, a nice play. By, oh, the Kitten with a beautiful. But can he come up with it? And the ground ball is taken by number eight. Uh, that's Quinny Connell. Connell runs it. Oh, nice defense. Beautiful defense by number 14, Dallas Adams. Dallas is, I think, another one of the, uh, maybe make him co-star. Now, game. what year is he? Dallas Adams? I don't know. Logan Reed, though. Um, now, Logan, you said, was a freshman. Yeah. Reed should have uh, a pretty exciting varsity career ahead of him. I think so. If he sticks around. I think team. so, yeah. 
Oh. There's Dallas. Number 12, Logan Reed, and that's a beautiful play also by number 14, Dallas. Adams, LSM. Strong rain coming back in. Yeah, the rain is coming down, and we're down to a minute left, a minute and a half left in the third quarter. Uh, the Bromfield boys are going to have a long bus ride home, Alex. They're going to be wet, they're going to be cold, and they're going to be defeated unless they can come back and put together a big scoring streak in the, uh, in the fourth quarter as it is cold and rainy, and the sellout crowd is not particularly pleased. Uh, we're down to a minute left. The Arlington boys settling it down. There's Brendan McKinney over to Leo Piandes. Leo sends it over to John Kier, back to Piandes. Piandes behind the net, a beautiful cut, but the human Capillion couldn't finish it. Nice cut, though, by Jonathan Capillion, and it's kept in bounds by number 17, Brendan McKen uh, Justin McKinney. Catherine Capillion in the house. So Catherine Capillion arrives. She's in the house. And we have got an 8-1 ball game with 50 seconds left. <laughs> oh, oh, Adam Lee with a goal from Justin McKenney, and Adam Lee strikes. And so it's uh, it's number 19, Adam Lee, from number 17, Justin McKenney. All right, go number 19, Adam Lee, assisted by number 17, Justin McKenney. So Justin McKinney going off today, Alex. He's got three goals and two assists. And uh, he just fed young Adam Lee. And Adam, thank you for the helper. As I mentioned, we've got Declan Dolan in the house. Declan, you go to the Bruins last night? No. Nope. Who had your seats? Uh, my dad sold them. Ah, wise. He's got to pay for that Italy trip. Extra cannolis. <laughs> David Dolan, Coach David, it turns out he sold his Bruins tickets last night so he could buy extra cannolis in, uh, and Jimmy Bonbons in Italy. Dolan, a big fan of the cannoli. They call it the Dolan cannoli. Oh, here comes, here's a shot, and he shot it over the net, and it's going to be running time. Oh, no, stop time. 23 seconds left. It's going to be Bromfield ball, 9-1 Arlington as the Arlington boys erupt on senior night. Maybe they know Dolan's in the house. They're trying to impress him. Maybe trying to get him to come back next year. Dolan is playing mixed singles for the Arlington High School tennis team. He's the captain of the mixed singles team. And uh, this Kohlberg with a ground ball. Kohlberg is hit. He sends it up to Luki Baraducci. Baraducci running the wrong way, but he finds number eight, uh, Quinn Connell. And there's the end of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen, with your score, the Arlington Spy Ponders nine goals and uh the Bromfield boys with only one as this one is really turning into a uh a contest that is not really uh, a close one as the Arlington boys have put their season nicely together here at the end of the season they could be uh finishing the season with a um with three wins in a row if all goes well now now let's see Alex if Pocock uses some substitutions he's gone with uh, just the main line for the first three quarters. He's got a comfortable cushion and only a quarter to go. It's the end of the season. Maybe want to use some fresh legs? I think we'll be seeing some fresh legs. Well, let's yeah, hope so. For sure. But, you know, you also want to give your seniors some uh, last-minute play time before they go off to college. Oh, yeah. Very much agree. The seniors are going to stay. All right, here we go. Fourth quarter action. And we've seen some new faces. Arlington substitutions. We've got uh, number four, Matt Lucian. 
Arlington substitution number four, Matt Lucian. Lush. Oh, beautiful pass and a save, set sail. Oh, Justin sent sail, outstanding. Well, those are the types of plays that we haven't seen all game from yeah. Brownfield. Arlington save number 16, Justin sent sail. Another save from Senseo. Looks like he might have taken that one off the tushy. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming. It's going to be a push on Arlington, so it's going to be number 22. Oh! He shot his save. There's Kohlberg. Kohlberg with a roll dodge. And uh, where's he going? He fakes it. He throws it down to number 22, John Care. John Care. Care. Oh, he had the magician, but the magician couldn't bring it in. Don't know what that was. Galen with a left-handed floater behind the net. And Arlington with a rare turnover. Alex, Arlington has done a great job today without turning the, not turning the ball over much. And uh, in, the, in the early season, Alex, if you'll recall, the big problems for Arlington was getting possession of the ball and then e uh, simple turnovers. But the last three games, they've done a nice job keeping possession of the ball. So here we are. We're down into the final fourth quarter of the game. Oh, a nice pick by the human Capillion. John Capillion with a great steal on the uh, Arlington clear. And here comes Capillion coming back in the other way. Ten and a half minutes left in the contest. On senior night here in Arlington, it is pouring. And we're seeing some, maybe we're seeing some new, no, no, not many new faces yet. We saw Matt Lucian get in there for a while. Number 11 is Diego Retmal Doherty. Arlington substitution number 11, Diego Retmal Doherty. So Diego Retmal Doherty is in the game. Here's Brendan McKenney. McKenney takes a shot and he scores. Brandon McKenney. And we are going to. Uh, that's unassisted, I think, Alexi. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I like to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine goals. All right, we'll stop calling the Arlington goals. Uh, and let's see what we got here. Arlington substitution number five, Rory Kerr. Number four, Matthew Lucian. Lush. All right, so Lush is in the game. And uh, number 22 is Kanye Lynch. All right, it's a hold on Kerr. So Kerr, with his debut, he's often, he's a Fogo. So Kerr gets off the field very, very quickly. And here come the Bromfield boys. It's number six. Oh, a nice pass, but it's broken up by Maddie the Cat. And Berarducci comes away with it. And there's Luki Berarducci. Luki's got some wheels. Here goes Luki. No one's on him. And Luki's got a light lane to the hoop. Luki Berarducci. Oh, just he had, he had uh, Diego Retmal Doherty. And Luki Berarducci. Luki! So Luki Berarducci with a nice clear. He's out there with Maddie the Cat and number 14, John Cassidy. Kohlberg on the bench where he belongs. Nine minutes left, fourth quarter, 10-1 Arlington. Things are looking up for Arlington. We've got some substitutions coming in, and here we go. It's another number four. I don't know who this kid is. He's got another number four. Who was this kid? No. Who is he? You know Alex? A JV kid. Can you tell me? <laughs> Dolan's calling him a JV kid, but he doesn't know his name. All right, relax. <laughs> All right. So here we go. There's Brendan McKenney. McKenney, no one picks him up. He scores again. And so, uh, you know, I don't know what. Okay, he walked it. He walked in alone, naked. No one picked him up, so he just fired at top shelf. And Alex, you got to feel a little bit disappointed there for uh, Logan Reed because no one picked him up. And Brendan McKenney walked in naked, and he fired at top shelf. I'm a little surprised because their defense was was very good the first quarter. Yeah, they've, t they've started coming, to. Coming in with only three 
with a three goal deficit. Right. That wasn't bad. They had they had everything locked down. All right. So who, what's this number for the new goalie here? Uh, we got a new goalie. It's number twenty nine. We don't have a name for the new goalie. Um, but we got a substitution for Bromfield. It's a new goalkeeper. And John Kerr picks it up. He's met by the Bromfield boy. There's a through his stick. Justin McKenney almost caught it. He couldn't catch it. Game degenerating a little bit here. There's Matthew the cat. He's a kitten. And the kitten takes a hit. <laughs> By number 16. Oh, a beautiful hit as the kitten didn't see him coming. Matty the cat took a hit there at the end of the game. That was Joey Robinson, captain, uh, senior attacker. Here's De Diego Retmal Doherty. Pay attention to this kid. He's only a freshman. Uh, uh, Diego gets chopped away there, and it's taken by Justin McKenney. McKenney sends it behind the net to uh, Jonathan Kerr. Kerr, not a care in the world, as he finds number 21, John Jonathan uh, Capillion. And uh, the human capillion scores. So we have got uh, a 12 1 game for, uh, for Arlington as they're really starting to put the hurt on this, uh, this young Bromfield team. Bromfield, Alex, interesting, like Arlington, only three seniors on the team. So Bromfield is in a growth, uh, growth path right now on their, their, uh, on their uh, schedule. Now, if they, if they keep working on their uh, offensive plays, I think they have a, a good shot in the years to come. Yeah. They have a strong team. They do. Well disciplined. Another nice face-off for number 18, Aiden Young. And it looks like it might have been out on Lynch, who tipped it. But, yeah, they're calling it white. All right, so seven minutes, 21 seconds left in the contest. Arlington with a comfortable 11-goal lead. Lynch takes a hit, but he sends it over to Senseo. Justin Senseo sends it back over to Lynch. Kanye snags it. Kanye with a nice pass. It rolls through to Maddie the Cat. There's the cat. He sends it into Justin McKenney. McKenney's had a fine game. Coming back into the game is John Cassidy. There's Brandon McKenney. McKenney fakes the shot. He's in again. And he scores. He's going off. And Pocock has got a very comfortable lead right now. And uh, it's gonna be number Rory Kerr on the faceoff with Matt Lucian. And it looks like the uh, Arlington midfielders take a little bit of a break here. It looks like with uh, 12 goals ahead, looks like the clock is gonna keep running. Yeah, as it should. No stoppage. No stoppage. Arlington, Pocock is lighting up the cigar at this point uh, as he has got a comfortable 12-goal lead and he finishes the season with three consecutive wins and, uh, and uh, a cadre of returning juniors. Alex, you know, the Arlington team with only three graduating seniors, they're going to be loaded next year. And uh, Oh, and I say a nice goal. Number 18, uh, who scored it? What number? 22. All right, from number 18. Bromfield goal number 22, Sam Ratchman. Assisted by number 18, Aiden Young. So Ratchman, with his first goal of the game, he's assisted by number uh, 18. With that goal, they've brought stoppage back into play. Oh, yeah, 10-goal lead. Here's number 25, 
and he found number 11, Sammy Hills. But it's taken away by, uh, now this kid, I don't know who he is. He's a new guy. And, uh, oh, there's a nice play by number 21. Oh, it's broken up by number, th look at this, some good action late in the game. And there's John Kerr, Kerr with a, forgot something there, Johnny. As Kerr leaves it for uh, Bromfield, there's a nice pass across. Oh, a beautiful pass, 11 by number 22. That was 22 Ratchman from number 11. Uh, Sam Hills. Bromfield goal number 22, Sam Ratchman, assisted by number 11, Sam Hills. All right, so the Bromfield boys, the clock is continuing to run, however, because it's a 10-goal lead. So that doesn't help Bromfield. But, uh, but the Bromfield boys have come alive. Might be a little bit too late, a little too little too late, uh, uh, Alex. Where has this uh, number 22 been all game? I don't know. Great ground ball by number 24. Look at that kid hustling. John Kerr, the pinball. Look at him go. Get out of traffic. Kerr, a heavily recruited player. Only a junior. He's a junior captain. The only junior captain. There's Tom DiCarlo. DiCarlo forgot something there. Tries to stay with it. And, oh, a nice ground ball. Look at this kid, number 21. Uh, that is a nice play by number 21, Tommy Dentino. I think Adam Lee is going to get player of the game. All right, Alex, we're down to three minutes left. It's 13-3 to three Arlington. Arlington boys look to settle it down. Goes up top to John Kerr. Kerr sends it over to number nine, Brendan McKenney. McKenney finds John Kerr, and Kerr floats it in, and the Arlington boys are just, just pounding a... Uh, Pounding away here, Alex. We're down uh, two minutes and forty seconds. Uh, two, two minutes and forty seconds left. The uh, and the Arlington boys on senior night, looking to light up the cigar here. Rain seems to have calmed down a bit towards the end of the game. Yeah. the cat in pursuit under two minutes left we're here at Mary Pierce Field in Arlington the final game of the season I'm Ken Kohlberg your sports broadcaster from Arlington Community Media Inc your local cable sports network there's oh another beautiful shot by number 11 as the Bromfield boys have come alive but a little bit too late as Sammy Hills Bromfield goal number 11 Sam Hills unassisted so Sammy Hills with the goal, we're down to a minute and 29 seconds left. And Pocock, I think, puts the seniors back on the field. There's John Cassidy at defense, Brendan McKenney at midfield, and uh, who is the other senior? And uh, who are these, who's number 24 back there at attack? Don't know who that is. Michael Pesserides. Is it really? Yeah. What's his name? Michael Pesserides. Pesserides? Yeah. You sure? Yep. Arlington substitution, number 24, Michael Pesarides. Pe Pesarides. So Pesarides is in the contest. We have 42 seconds left. And here comes some kid with some wheels. That's number three. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Keneally. Keneally's got the Jets. The fans are starting to trickle out this thing. Oh, there's Pesarides. And, oh, Pesarides with a shot, but a save at the column, almost with the rebound. Heroic play, heroic move to the hoop by Pesarides. And Pesarides, uh, outstanding prospect. He's out of East Arlington, I think. Where's he from? Where? You don't know, Declan? 
I think he's out of East Arlington. He might live up in the Heights. There's a shot wide. We're six seconds left, five seconds left, four seconds left. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball game is over. Your final score, Arlington 14 and Bromfield 4. Ladies and gentlemen, your final score, Arlington's five ponders 14, the Bromfield Trojans 4. Ladies and gentlemen, your players of the game today for the Bro uh, Bromfield Trojans, number 12, Logan Reed, and number 14, Dallas Adams. For the Arlington Spy Ponders, your players of the game, number 14, John Cassidy, and number 19, Adam Lee. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please drive safely. All right, so we're off. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I'm Ken Colbert, your sports broadcaster on behalf of Arlington Community Media, Inc. The season is over. We'll see you for soccer season. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Arlington Community Media, Inc. <laughs>